Hello. If you want to master Microsoft Teams, you need to learn how to use the command box. In Microsoft Teams, the command box sits up at the top of the screen. Over on the uh, side navigation, it doesn't matter whether I'm on activities, chats, calls, files, teams, the command box is always at the top. You can click up here with the mouse if you want, and it even gives you some instructions, or if you're a keyboard person, control in the letter E will get you to the command box. And again, it doesn't matter where you're at. So let me run through some commands. It's basically shortcuts for getting around in Teams. I'm going to first do some commands for changing your status. Then I'll do some commands for how to do chats, how to find at mentions. And this to me is where the command box really shines. So I'm Chris Menard. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I have around 500 videos and I make about two a week. Here we go. I've already got up in the command box. If you notice, my status over to the right is available. You can tell by the little green icon. I need to work on something, so I'm going to do a forward slash. That pulls up all your commands. And I'm going to do DND for do not disturb. And look, it changed. All my fellow team members know not to do bother me right now. One more. Control E. I'm back available again. I'm chatting with someone. I can change this to forward slash uh, be right back BRB. So the command box is really nice just for setting your status and there's also a way. I'm going to go back to available just for now. Here is one of my favorite features of Microsoft Teams. Teams and then I clicked on Teams over to the left. This is a sample team that I created. If you notice, I've only got two teams. I've got Human Resources, and I have the MS Office team. And then there are my channels within each team. You always have the general channel. But in real life, once Microsoft Teams has been implemented, I find people having anywhere between six teams to 20 teams. In other words, there's usually a lot of teams and there's usually a lot of channels. When you're within teams and you're inside of a channel communicating with a conversation down here, that conversation is available to everyone in that team. So everyone in MS Office, even if I want to send Carol Martin a message, so I'm going to do at Carol Martin. Did you see the report? Everyone on the team is going to be able to see this for the MS Office team. So really, this should have been a chat. And a lot of people get confused about this. So if I know I want to do a chat, I just like to come up here because a chat's a one-on-one. -on -one. Forward slash chat, enter, who, Carol Martin, tab, and I'm going to just start my chat right here. So really, that one I did below was not correct because everyone just saw that. Now, over in chats, did you see the report? That is a one-on-one -on -one conversation I'm having with Carol. Another cool feature of Teams using commands, I'm going back to my example of having a lot of Teams and a lot of channels. Um, back in March of 2019, back in March of this year, Microsoft Teams got rid of favorites and following. So if I want to jump quickly to a channel or to a team, I'm going to go back to the command box. I'm going to do a go to. And it's going to say, okay, what team or channel do you want to jump to? I want to jump to the Excel channel, which is part of MS Office. So if I type in Excel, it's showing me that Excel is the channel and it's under the MS Office team. That's perfect. And I just jumped to Excel, which is under the MS Office team. One more example of that, I want to jump to mandatory training, because let's say I'm always going there, and I happen to be under files. So again, get up in the command box, go to uh, MAND, there it is, mandatory training. I'm under mandatory training channel, which is under the human resources team. A couple more, um, 
I like to do, I like to save certain messages. So let's say as an example, I need to save this one, save this message. Well, when you save your messages, you can get to them from your activities, but then you got to go and filter. So I'm going to use the mouse this time. I'm going to click up top in the command box, forward slash, and there is saved. There are all, there's everything that I've saved over there to the left. They are bookmarked right there. Anyway, feel free to come up here and do a forward slash. I don't see it here, but on my desktop teams for my true Microsoft teams, it says files that'll quickly get to you to all your recent files you've done. Organization will let you see someone's organization chart if they have it inside of Teams. So there's a lot of cool features in here with the command box, but especially the chat and the go-to always seem to really bail me out.